everyone welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to focus on decimals in business mathematics aside from recalling the basic concepts of fractions it is necessary for us to understand the basic concepts of decimals so let's get started. In this lesson, the learning objectives are the following. First, you should be able to illustrate the fundamental concepts of decimals. And second, perform fundamental operations on decimals accurately. And to attain these learning objectives, we need to answer the essential question, what are the key concepts of decimals and how to perform operations on decimals? First, let's talk about money. Money is used to do transaction. When we want to buy something, we use our money. And in the Philippine monetary system, we actually have the peso and centavos. Let's say we have 1,050 centavos. When we use our money, we are actually working with decimals. Here, we are going to focus on the important concepts of decimals and how to perform operations on decimals. But first, let us check what you know about decimals. You may pause the video so you can answer these items. Let's check our work. Item number one, it's 4.91. Item number two, it is 9.591. Item number three, it's 375. And item number four, it's 1.2872. Now, let us move to the following concepts. First, let us define decimal. Decimal is a number that contains at least one decimal digit, just like the example here. In reading a decimal, take note that the first digit is called the tens place, second is the hundreds place, and the third, the thousands place. So in this case, this is read as 143 thousands. Next, let's have the kinds of decimals. First, we have the terminating decimal. It is a decimal with a finite number of decimal places, just like the example here. As we can see, there are three decimal places. We, so this one is read as 4 and 175 thousands. Second, we have the non-terminating decimal. It is a decimal with repeating decimals. Or if you can see a decimal with a bar over the digits that repeat, then it is a non-terminating decimal. Take a look at the two examples here. The first, as we can see, 2 and 7 are both repeating. Next, we have 1.33 with a bar at the top, which shows that 3 and 3 are both repeating. Let us now have the operations on decimals. The first is, Adding or subtracting decimals. In adding or subtracting, we have to write the decimals in column and make the decimal points align. Then just simply add or subtract the digits as if there were full numbers. Just like the example here. As we can see, the decimal points are already aligned. So we just have to perform the indicated operations. So we have here addition and subtraction. To begin with, we have to start at the right side. So we have 6 plus 0 minus 4, that's 2. 5 plus 3 is 8, minus 7 is 1. 3 plus 1 is 4, minus 1 is 3. Then we copy the decimal point. Next, we have 4 plus 2 is 6, minus 5 is 1. Next, we'll just simply bring down 1 since there are no other values to be added or subtracted. So here, the answer is 11.312 or 11 and 312 thousands. Next, we have multiplying decimals. Multiply the numbers as if they were whole and place the decimal point in the result as to how many decimal places in it as there are in the factors combined. So in our example, we have 2 and 14 hundredths times 3 and 1 tenths. So first, let us rewrite these decimals 
as if there were whole numbers. So 2.14 will become 214 and we have 31 times 31. Let's do multiplication now. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Next, we have 3 times 4 is 12. Carry 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Plus 1, we have 4. 3 times 2 is 6. Next, we need to add the numbers. So we have 4, 3, 6, and 6. Now the question is where to place the decimal point. As we can see in our given, the first decimal has two decimal places. The second has one decimal place. Therefore, in total, we have three decimal places. So from right, we count three decimal places. So we have one, two, and three. So the answer in this problem is 6.634 or 6 and 634 thousandths. Now, let us have the last operation, the dividing decimals. First, let's divide decimal by a whole number. We do as in dividing whole numbers by writing the decimal point directly above that of the dividend. In our example, we have 4 and 15 hundredths, which is the dividend, and 5, which is the divisor. So to divide, we have 4 and 15 hundredths divided by 5. First, let us place the decimal point directly above it. So next, we divide as if it's a whole number. So here, we have 41 divided by 5. The answer is 8. So we put 8 after the decimal point. 8 times 5 is 40. Then, subtract. 41 minus 40, we have 1. Bring down 5. So 15 divided by 5, we have 3. 3 times 5, we have 15. Subtract this 2, we have 0. So the answer in dividing 4 and 15 hundredths and 5 is 83 hundredths. Last is dividing number by a decimal. Multiply both dividend and divisor by that power of 10 such that the divisor becomes the least whole number and then proceed in dividing. In our example, we have 217 divided by 4 tenths. We base the power of 10 on 4 tenths. Since there's only one decimal place, it means to say that we have to multiply the dividend and divisor by 10. In that case, the 217 becomes 2,170 and 4 tenths becomes 4. Since both numbers are already whole, we can now proceed in dividing. So we have 2,170 divided by 4. 21 divided by 4, we have 5. Then we multiply, we'll get 20. Subtract, the answer is 1. Then we have to bring down 7. 17 divided by 4 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. We subtract, we get 1. Then we have to bring down 0. 0 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. Subtract, we have 2. Then since we cannot divide anymore, we need to add another 0. So when we add, we put a decimal, then we also have to put decimal on our quotient. Then bring down 0, 20 divided by 4 is 5. 5 times 4 is 20. When we subtract, we'll get 0. So in this example, the answer is 542 and 5 tenths. After presenting the operations on decimals, it is now your turn to apply what you have learned. You may pause the video so you can answer the following items. Now, let us check your work. 
Item number 1, the answer is 9 and 28 hundredths. Item number 2, we have 3 and 75 hundredths. Item number 3, it's 3,200. And item number 4, it's 3,625 ten thousands. Did you get all of this without the use of calculator? If yes, great job. Now, here's the summary of what you have to remember about decimal. First, decimal contains at least one decimal digit. And there are two kinds of decimals. We have terminating and non-terminating. And for the operations of decimals, in adding and subtracting, we write the decimals in column and align the decimal points. In multiplying, we multiply the numbers as if they were whole and place the decimal point in the result as to how many decimal places are there in the given. And in dividing decimal by a whole number, we do it as if we are dividing whole numbers by writing the decimal point directly above that of the dividend. And by dividing number by a decimal, we multiply both dividend and divisor by that power of 10 such that the divisor becomes the least whole number and then proceed in dividing. That's all for this lesson. Thanks for watching. So if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell to be updated. Bye everyone. See you on my next video.